more like this and I can buy a new sword. <laughs> Let's go say hi. officials. If we're interrogated, we need to get our story straight. Shift the balance. Show your courage. Let's wait and see. Repay. Don't get complacent. Nothing major. Time for a plan. <laughs> Eternal sleep. The dead return! Damage. Blade and fight! Oh, this scared. battle is unavoidable. Lend me your strength. We've entered the storm. To guard and defend. Crush them. Strike the target. <laughs> you damage. chose the wrong enemy. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing major. Always a weakness. Lend me your strength. How many can you block? Strike with heart. Practice is over. Swords descend. <laughs> I'll see you off. Trace. Can I have fun this time? Time for a fun. <laughs> 
This combat needs optimizing. <laughs> this is double speed. Eternal sleep. The dead return! I underestimated you. Receive divinity. Your assistance is timely. This battle is unavoidable. <laughs> Nothing major. We've entered the storm. To guard and defend! Crush them! Ugh. Surrender! It cannot come to us. would be approved. Shh. Follow me. Hey, hey, it looks like there's someone up ahead. Let's go around. <laughs> the dead returns! Say hi. Immediately. Suspicious individuals in a restricted area are detained first and interrogated later. No exceptions. 
restricted area? Since when were you in charge of Victor's garden? This is double speed. Troublesome. Time for a fun. <laughs> Strike the part. Lend me your strength. Blade and fight. Swords descend. <laughs> <laughs> Receive divinity. Repay. The dead return. Time for a plan. <laughs> this is double speed. At ease, Wraith Warden. These two are not your enemies. Understood, Your Honor. Look how pale she is. And it seems like her eyes aren't even focusing. <gasps> is she a ghost? As a member of the Ten Lords Commission, you may as well consider me a member of the dead. I am a judge, alias Hanya. Of the four duties of detention, incarceration, interrogation, and punishment, I am responsible for interrogation. Therefore, I know a thing or two about you. Quinifan, an outworlder unemployed. You entered Fixtral Garden with Sushang, a cloud knight, the day before yesterday. Uh, unemployed? I'm a street performer and a streamer who reports on current events. A streamer. It's a legit operation. As for this one here... You are a passenger on the Astral Express and a guest of the Seat of Divine Foresight. You assisted the Cloud Knights in resolving the Ambrosial Arbor Calamity and are a friend of the Alliance. She's the Nameless? From the train? Tell me, Gwenaifun, why did you return here? Uh, no reason. I haven't posted anything for ages, so I wanted to film some ghosts for my videos. <laughs> we have already told you that there are no ghosts in the Xianzhou. It is a ridiculous superstition. As a resident of the Sianjo, you should refrain from believing or spreading rumors. But I saw them! They had ghostly flames coming out of their body, and they were cackling! A and Sushong saw them too! Miss Gwenaifen, it's hard to explain, but those things aren't ghosts. Please don't bring legends from your homeworld onto the Sianjo. The roaming entities you saw are extremely dangerous energy parasites. We call them Heliobi. I... Really? I don't believe it. Heliobi? What's that? <gasps> oh, I get it. Heliobi is just another word for ghost on the Sienjo, right? That's gotta be it. should let Mr. Tail out for a bit. Mm -hmm. Mr. Tail? I heard you, I heard you. Unbelievable. What am I, her pet? Mr. Tail? I'm a Helioplus. We're not ghosts. Got it? Now scram! <laughs> What a strange girl. Here to film ghosts, yet terrified when she lays eyes on one. Deep breaths, little Grey. Deep breaths. <clears throat> Can I have a small chat with this Mr. Tail? 
I said, scram! I have no time to talk nonsense with you! I told you I'm not a ghost! If I have to repeat myself again, I'll be eating every one of you! Please, don't be afraid. He's only kidding. Mr. Tail is a vegetarian. Your Honor, if I may ask, what exactly is this fire thing? How can we prevent it from hurting people? And why is a judge carrying one around with her? I believe we're done here. We have important matters to attend to. Quahua, please see them off. Y yes ma'am. Sister, don't be angry. Most of your time is spent in the field. You're not accustomed to dealing with others. Leave this to me. If I explain the reasoning, they will leave. As things stand, the situation in Fixtral Garden is sure to keep drawing attention. If we forcibly dismiss these two today, their curiosity will remain. Who knows what might happen if they decide to come back. They might not be lucky enough to run into us next time. As I said, sister, I will handle this. I assume the two of you heard about the damage done to the Artisanship Commission's creation furnace? The Heliobi sealed within escaped, and have been haunting this place. The Ten Lords Commission has orders to capture them. I am strongly advising you to leave, for your own safety. If you have any questions, raise them now. I will do my best to satisfy your curiosity. But I hope you will keep any information you hear in strict confidence, and then leave Fixtral Garden, never to return. That's... that's very reasonable, Your Honor. Thank you. I promise we'll leave after asking our questions. As a clerk at the Hall of Karma, my knowledge on these matters is somewhat limited, but I will try my best to satisfy your curiosity. Please proceed. According to the Divination Commission's classification, they are energy parasites from the cosmos itself. They are starfire essence that materialize in the form of strange fire. Metaphorically speaking, they are like moths to a flame, but that flame is the thoughts of sentient beings. Yes, they attach themselves to sentient beings, feeding off their host's experiences and emotions. A heliobus will slowly take root in its host's nervous system, using their deepest desires and weaknesses to create wild delusions. They manipulate their host like a chess piece. The host has no choice but to obey the heliobus, so we refer to it as possession. By that point, the host is no longer who they once were, but a heliobus both similar to and completely different from their past self. The host's body will soon be exhausted by the heliobus, like burnt firewood. Dangerous? Oh, you don't know the half of it. The other heliobi are nothing compared to me. Tail was subdued and sealed in my tail by Madame Hanya. He won't harm others. Regrettably, heliobi are not flesh and blood, and so they are difficult to destroy. Before the restoration of the Creation Furnace, the Ten Lords Commission plans to set up an evil binding matrix in this abandoned garden to imprison these abominations. As you can see, the evil binding matrix has not yet been completed, and not all the escaped Heliobi have been recovered. This area is still very dangerous. I will ask Judge Huohua to escort you out of the garden. Not all the escaped Heliobi have been recovered. So that means the other supernatural stuff that's been happening on the Law Fu might be related? Your Honor, I have loads of info sources. Maybe I can help you. Unnecessary. 
Those not involved should leave now. Go. Um, excuse me. We should go.